as humanitarian workers and healthcare workers, I can say that uh, it's our main goal to reach all the people without discrimination and to provide our care to all those who need or mostly need, whether they are males, females, uh, going with the religion, our religion or not. That's why impartiality is a key factor in um, providing the health care for all the people. In one of the application of the impartiality, I can recall a story that happened during the 25th uh, January revolution uh, that happened in Egypt in 2011. While we were there with the rescue teams in the field trying to give the care and to provide the care for all the protests in the field. And it happened that one of the volunteers came to me to say that one of the soldiers from the army is he is actually injured and and he wants to make sure whether it's possible for him to provide the care for this soldier or maybe he will be accused by the protest at this time that he is um, giving the care to the person who is actually in the, in the main cause behind the injuries we are we are facing in the field and um, because we are from this movement and because we are different from all the healthcare providers in the field at this time the fact that we are following the principle of impartiality it was clear that it's our duty it's our responsibility to be impartial and to provide the care for all the people whether they are from the army or they are from the protest and this is how we gained the accessibility, this is how we gained the trust, and this is how we gained the credibility and actually the competitive advantage that make us there in the field from the 25th January till now with all the protests and also with all the parties. I think neutrality is what makes the Red Cross Red Crescent movement is unique with its humanitarian work. A lot of workers are there, they are providing care to one party or another, or they are taking reports from one party or another, but coming to neutrality, it's very difficult and also is very unique and it needs a lot of training. This is what, that's why people were, were usually asking why you are there not just at the Tahir Square, but also you are there with the protests um, from from people who are going with the with the government and people who are against the government, are you with both parties? We used to answer that we are not with any party. We are just for you, for those who need the help, without putting into our minds any parties or any opinions. This is the humanitarian work. <laughs>